When we look at autism spectrum disorders, ADHD, Asperger's, autism, developmental disorders, often we see it as a mystery. But once we understand the lymphatic system's role in maintaining the brain, then we'll see it more clearly how our children are filling with cellular waste. And that's affecting how they think, it's affecting their di digestion, it's affecting how their skin becomes filled with acid waste, creating eczema, it affects how they breathe or how they're, if they're irritable or not. So the lymphatic system really in autism is key. And here's what I believe is happening. New research in 2015 found lymphatic vessels in the brain. So we've always known that there was an indirect connection between the brain and the lymphatic system. Now we know there is a direct connection between the brain and lymphatic system. And what I believe is happening is when we become slightly acidic and it is known that pregnant mothers, 50% uh, of them have some acidity uh, during their term, 25% have acidity almost every day, have problems with acidity. So as a mom becomes slightly acidic, the fetus could become slightly acidic and that can constrict the lymphatic system and allow waste to start building in the body, whether it's in the brain, whether it's in the lungs, the digestive uh, tract, or the skin. And really many parents of autistic children say that, you know, I don't know what it is, but it's like my child just shut down overnight. They got digestive issues, their skin got inflamed, and they couldn't think they were shutting down. That really is because the lymphatic system shut down. We have major drains, one vessel on either side of our neck. Three quarters of our body goes to our left neck and a quarter of our body goes to the right neck. When these vessels become constricted and clogged, it's one vessel that must take the whole body and brain. Then we shut down, the body slowly starts to fill with waste. It's slow, it's, it's gradual. And basically it's not just vaccinations, even though if you look at vaccinations, it's each month a child is getting uh, vaccinations with multiple uh, vaccinations inside of them. And children, I see it, go through an inflammation period afterwards. They get a little cold, they get uh, uh, a little fever. And when we do this every month, we're creating more cellular waste. Then we bring children into the world and start giving them acid foods. We give them flour. We give them different things to treat, uh, to eat, candies. And I saw this in my kids. I didn't understand this information. I was making my children toxic. They were not thinking clearly. They were having digestive issues as I was giving them more wheat and more candy. So again, it's so important to understand it's not about being perfect. Sure, you'll be able to give your children candies and, and wheat and pasta and bread. But if you want to make them healthy, at first you have to limit these things and really make their body more alkaline. And once their body becomes more alkaline, you'll see less inflammation in the body and, start, and you'll see clarity uh, as the lymphatic system starts to clean this waste. So it really is imperative whether you have a young child or whether you have a teen or adult because the lymphatic system, if it's not working, the body will continually congest. And what I've heard often is that, again, some adults will continually congest and get depression or more aggressive. Uh, as their body or brain starts to congest further. So again, whether you have a child who you'd like to help come off the spectrum, and we have seen that, uh, if you have a child who uh, is now an adult and you'd like to keep them healthier, or again, make them feel better, it's about quality of life, then you need to understand the lymphatic system's role in maintaining the brain. So if this makes sense to you, please tell others who have children on the spectrum or children with health problems to come check out our lymphaticrei.org videos. Uh, guarantee they will come away understanding uh, ASD much clearer and what they'll need to do to clean their child, to get their system circulating more, and to improve natural detoxification, which is what we do with the lymphatic system. So again, help us change world health. Help us change the health of children uh, by educating and telling everybody you meet that they need to maintain their lymphatic system and check out lymphaticrei.org. Thank you.